I have a reason for doing what I did. Certainly, Mr. Unduka Obideke. It will interest this honorable court to know that reason. So, tell us. Any man who finds himself in the same situation I found myself will no doubt do exactly what I did. Now listen to me, Nick. Before you came into this house, I was at the verge of traveling out of this country for greener pastures. But the moment you came, everything stopped. Why? Because of you. I don't understand what you're talking See, about. You don't understand. Yeah, no, I mean, no woman would want it. Hey, 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 hey. Did I hear you say woman? Oh, no, Neka, you are not a woman. You are a man. A man like me, a man like my brother, your husband. Green snake deceiving people with your innocent news. God will punish you and your parents hey, for trapping my brother. Listen, 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 please. You can insult me, but leave my family out of Why? Are they not the ones who prepared the charm you use in tying my brother down? Are they not? No, come on, talk back to me, you shameless. Hey, listen, 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 nigga. Don't let me use words, please. Patrick, you called me Neka a man. Hey, Neka, are you not? Yes. You opened your mouth and called me a man. Are you not a man? How come you've not become pregnant after three years in the Am I God? Am I God that gives children? And why should God give you more? Why should God give you a child when you've already abused your ration through your series of abortions? Hey, hey. You think we do not know your story? We do. And let me tell you something. Whether you like it or not, you are leaving this house. Honey, I'm home. Hey. the results of this test. That nothing is absolutely wrong with you. And tell him that I demand he makes himself a fellow of his own matters. Doctor, I know my husband. He will not agree to such a thing. You mean he will not hear that nothing is absolutely wrong with you or? My husband does not go for any test. Rather, he believes that God is the one that gives children at his own appointed time too. I believe I know so too. But in situations like this, the couple must make sure that the cause is not theirs. Before resigning themselves to fate, give it a try, okay? Yeah, well, I'll try and talk to him and convince him. All right, thank you, doctor. You're yeah, a good girl. Bye bye. Welcome, Mama. Mama! Thank God, you're back. Mama. <coughs> Keep your cursed greeting and welcome to yourself. Uh, uh, Mama. <coughs> Neta, I have returned. Did you hear me? I have come back. Whatever you do, you used the anus of the tortoise or the head of vulture to prepare for my son, to blindfold him, will all vanish now that I have come back. 
Do you hear me? Uh, Mama, how can you say such a re me? Hey, hey! You think I was sitting down and folding my arms? No way! I have gone round. I have asked questions. Now the die is cast. Did you hear me? The die is cast! The die is cast. Mama, enjoy your food, eh? Meg, you think you can get me? Eh? What's the matter? Uh, what's the matter? You, your head is the matter. Your head is the matter. You put juju in the food you prepared for me. What? So you can confuse and confound me the way you did to my son, Ondoka. What? Me, juju in your food? How can? Mama, how can you? To show you that I am stronger than you, you must eat and finish this food right now. Mama, Sit down and eat it. Eat it. Mama, eat. I should not put. You have to eat it. I am stronger than you. Sit down here and eat this food. Sit down and eat it. Sit down. Eat it. Eat all of it. Eat it. Uh, eat it. Mama, wait. Eat it all. I put you you must also drink this water. All of it. Drink it. Mama, wait. No, Mama, please be reasonable. How can you say I put you in your food? How can I do that? I am so happy. What is Juju? I don't even know what you're talking about. Uh, eat it. I'm Mama so sorry. Sorry. See, 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 see. I made this food specially for you. I didn't put anything. Okay, go ahead and eat it. Raka Sanza. Eat this food. Eat no, it. Please, I'm not eating it. You have to finish it though. Finish this food. Eat it. Oh. And drink this water too. I'm not drinking water. Oh, you must drink it too. No, I'm not drinking you it. You must drink this water. Drink it. Okay, fine. All of it. I can't finish it. I'm not drinking. No. no, no, Mama, wait. If you don't want to eat, no problem. No problem. But I can put. How can you say I put? You see it? How can you say black asaka? You you must eat this. No, how can you? Otherwise, they will come and see it. You see what I'm saying? Eh? his patients and succumb to the pressure of taking another wife. God forbid. Uh -uh. God forbid when you sit down here, fold your arms. Nikki, let me tell you, men are not women. They're not like women. They reason with their heads and not with their hearts. But what do you want me to do? The doctor has confirmed there's nothing wrong with me. The, the doctor also said that there's nothing wrong with their husband. My husband? He believes there's nothing wrong with him. You know, he doesn't even want to go to a hospital or take any tests. So, am I supposed to drag him to the hospital? Since your husband believes that there's nothing wrong with him and he won't go for tests, why not do the simple thing women do these days to sustain their marriages? Instead of waiting here to be thrown out and another woman brought in. But what is this simple thing that women do? Nikki, confirm to yourself that the fault is not from your husband. Like I told you, now he doesn't want to go to a hospital. Am I supposed to drag him? I don't mean hospital confirmation. What do you mean? Mm. Since your husband has tried for three years and hasn't succeeded in getting you pregnant, mm -hmm. why not try another man? What? What did you just say? You're suggesting I try another man? Is that what you're saying? See, Ify, I think it's time you leave my house. Get out!
Why are you crying? <laughs> Mama, what happened to my wife? Why is she crying? Since she has decided to make us unhappy by not giving us a child, I have also decided that she will continue to cry and shed tears for the limited life she has to stay in this house. Mama, enough. Enough is enough, Mama. Mama, what is the matter with you? Since you came back, it's been nothing else but quarrels, fights, antagonism, and endless taunting on this poor woman. Is it her fault that we're still childless? Yes, it's her fault. I am tired of it. It's her fault. No, Mama. Brother, I am the one who's tired of you or has had enough of you in this house. Mama, you're leaving this house this time. Leave my house. She's the one that will leave this house. Mama, leave my house this time. Mama, I've had, I've had enough of you. This is my son's house. Ma ma Mama, this is my house. This is my wife and she belongs to me. And this is our house. Let Mama, come back to your husband. Do you come back to your husband's house? Let her come Mama, I've had enough of you. Mama, I've had, had enough of you. She's the one that will leave. What is all this, Mama? Everything, everything, everything. Mama, Mama, go! Leave this place! Let us have peace and quiet in our house! Please! Let her, she will leave! She will leave! Leave, leave for where? Mama, I, you go to your husband's at house! At least I have a son. Does Le she have any son? all this? Is it my sole responsibility to bring a child into this world? Everybody's on my case. My mother-in-law, ah, that one, I don't even know what to say about her. Ify, um, I'm talking to you, you're not saying anything. Uh -uh. What do you want me to say? What? <laughs> oh. I came for you to advise me on what to do. Me? If he advise you? <laughs> this time, you will not chase me away. You will disown me or use God lies to cut off my head. Come on now, it's not, it does not come to that. Is it because of the last time? I was I was really angry. I was I mean everything is getting to me. I, I'm, I'm so confused. The whole the whole burden is getting too much for me. I mean, what do I expect me to do? Am I the one that gives children? Well, what I have to say is that very soon the pressure will shift from you to your husband. And if that happens, he will have no other option than to take another wife. Another wife? Yes. I won't take that. Oh, yeah, then do something. Last week, I went to see Dr. Maria, and um, she, she she told me to try and convince you to come for a, a confirmatory test. What the hell is the matter with you? Baby, I'm a woman, and there's a lot of pressure on me. What kind of stupid nonsense pressure is that? Pressure from who? Pressure from what? I should be the one to worry, not you. I married you, not you, me. I know. The society. Look, I don't care what society or what anybody in the society feels or thinks. By God's grace, you're my wife. And only God knows why we're still childless. I believe in God and His time, and I have told you that countless times. Now, 
promise me that henceforth you will not fret or stress yourself over this child issue. Promise. I promise. That's my girl. Look, do not let anybody face you. Do not be faced by anybody. Okay? Let's just put our faith in God. God's time is the best. I'm not complaining, am I? Come on, let's go back to sleep. Hey. If there's nothing wrong with you medically, what about spiritually? Spiritually, I'm okay. How do you know? Mama, last week I went to see a spiritualist. And she said that I'll be able to have children if only my husband should, will come for spiritual purification. Have you told Nduka? Nduka? Ah. No. If he heard I went to such a place, he's going to kill me. Where is the spiritualist? She's at uh, Ibadan. Ibadan? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I will talk to him. If Ndoka does not want children, I want grandchildren. So I will talk to him. Mm -hmm. Thank you, ma'am. Neka, shock and disappointment are understatements compared to what I feel about you right now. Night after night, day after day, I have told you that we have to wait on God. That we have to wait for God's time. Tell me, what do you know about creation? What do you know about how babies are formed? Please, my son, please. Uh, don't blame your wife. Blame me. I have always been the one insisting. Please. Mama, you're not my wife. I did not marry you. You are my son. I gave birth to you. And there your job ended. Mama, let me leave my wife with the woman I saw loved and married. Leave us alone, Mama. Let us bear our cross ourselves. No, my son. You cannot bear your cross alone. In our society, no one bears his cross alone. Ndoka, you need children. We need them. The society needs them from you. Mama, Mama, don't do this. Look, what exactly do you want from me? What do you want me to do? Just go for the test. That's all. Please. Is that what you want? Neka, I say, is that your wish as well? Yes, it is. Okay, if it will make both of you happy, I'll do it. Dr. Maria, good day. I hope there's no problem. <laughs> Why do I ask? Because my wife and I left her office an hour and a half ago. I'm surprised you're calling. Would I have had any form of STD in the past? What kind of question is that? Well, when I was 17 years old, I had syphilis, but I treated it. Why do you ask? Does it have anything to do with the sterility test? Hmm. Okay. Okay then. Bye. I'm afraid, madam. Your husband is sterile and may not be able to father a child. What? It is most unlikely he can. His sperm cells appear completely dead. 
Chinekeme, Dr. Wait, what are you saying? I mean, why? The sterility is as a result of a syphilis he had earlier in life, which was not properly treated. Syphilis? Doctor, syphilis? Yes, syphilis. He said so himself. And the test revealed damage to the sperm duct, which a superficially treated STD can cause. What you are telling us now is that my son, Undoka, is not a man. Wait, wait, doctor, doctor, is there nothing that we can do? I mean, nothing at all? Well, his case appears irredeemable. Hey! Mama, my own is finished. It's a lie. Oh, gosh! Ha -ha. There is something that can be done. Ha -ha. Don't worry, there is something we can do about it. I'm going now. Sit down. I just remember something I want to ask you. <clears throat> okay. You remember that time you came back from your room? There was this girl, uh, what is her name? Ego. Ego Beke now. The one that said she. Mama. I don't know anything about Ego any longer. Why do you ask? It's nothing really. But I just remembered something. You know, she said she was pregnant for you. What about the child? Mama, 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 please. What was between Ego and I? It is over and long severed. I don't know anything about her and I do not want to remember her. Excuse me. No, 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 please, my son. Try and remember now. Uh, uh, what about that pregnancy? Did she really give birth to a child? Mama, how would I know? Even if she did, that pregnancy or that child definitely wasn't mine. Hey, Mama, please, I... Um... No, no. Please, my son, eh? Let us try and... Why are you angry like this? Huh? What about that child? No. I cannot let go. I must trace her. At least this single one. I have to find out everything about her. A child I gave birth to will live and die childless. Then his lineage will be wiped out. Amayechi. When they have taken sleep away from my eyes, how can I sleep? Mama, it's all right. Ah. Oh, come, come to bed. God still lives. God still lives. Hmm? God still lives. And all these things are happening to me. God lives. Mama, it's all right. Do not doubt God, okay? Mama, Thank you. 
Am I listening? Do you love my son? Of course I do. There's no doubt about it, Mama. Good. The doctor says Ndoka's manhood is dead. So, tell me the truth. Does he make love to you? Um, of course he does. So his manhood still answers. <laughs> yes, um, he has perfect erection. Good. Good. Thank God he stands. Neka. I have been thinking. I have been thinking. I have been thinking of what we can do under this circumstance. Mama, I don't know. I am confused. I'm so confused. If you love your husband as much as you say, and I know you do, we have to do something to help both of you have your own children. Oh, what can we do now? The doctor has said that his case is quite irredeemable. I don't know. I am going to talk to Patrick to help out. What? Shh. Just keep calm. Hmm? It is most unlikely he can. His sperm cells appear completely dead. Shinekemi, Dr. Witt, what are you saying? I mean, why? The sterility is as a result of a syphilis he had earlier in life, which was not properly treated. Syphilis? Doctor, syphilis? Yes, syphilis. He said so himself. And the test revealed damage to the sperm duct. Which a superficially treated STD can cause. What you are telling us now is that my son, Unoka, is not a man. Wait, wait, doctor, doctor, is there nothing that we can do? I mean, nothing at all? Well, his case appears irredeemable. Hey! If you love your husband as much as you say, and I know you do. We have to do something to help both of you have your own children. Oh, what can we do now? The doctor has said that his case is quite irredeemable. I don't know. I am going to talk to Patrick to help out.
Yeah. Okay. Something for me. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. mm. Um. Darling. I think we should fix a traditional wedding date for the first week of August. So soon? Well, judging from the way things are, you know, I feel the earlier the better. Or what do you think? Um, it's okay, but that means we have to change our plans. Our plans for shopping and distribution of the cards. Not to worry. Everything is in place. Look, all I need from you is approval to get started. Sure you have it. <laughs> August. Yeah, August mm -hmm. is not bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, darling, I'll be leaving for the office now. Hey, wait, are you not going to finish your I'm late as it is, okay? Uh, do you mind if I drop you off? No, no, I have to tidy up a few things before I leave, okay? You have a nice day. You too. Bye. You too. I'm, I'm on my way. Uh, sorry, sorry, we, we, which hospital? Okay, thank you. See, she lost so much blood and she needs transfusion without delay. Um, I, I, I'll donate mine right away. Okay, that's better. Uh, do doctor, can I? Can I touch no, no, no. Maybe later. Uh, okay, how, 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 when do you want to take the blood? Right away, right away. Let's let the blood go. Hey, thank God it is not dead. So. What would we have told the world? Well, like I explained to you yesterday, her condition is very serious. From tests run last night, we discovered that her leg is in a very pretty bad shape and maybe amputated. What? Hey, Mbano. Mbao, no, 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 no. That is to say, huh? if it is not well treated, in other words, she will be needing an urgent operation in a foreign hospital. Um, I will go for that one, Doctor. Please, anything, anything at all that will keep that leg intact. Please, Doctor, anything. Which operation? Where? Ndoka, are you out of your senses? Ndoka, Ndoka, Ndoka. I have said it all. No son of mine will waste his money on a girl that is not yet his wife. But, but Mama, we are about to wear. Don't Mama me. How can, how can you lavish your so much hard-earned money on an irrelevant thing? When there are so many young succulent girls begging to be married out there. Mama, I am engaged to Neka. And I must save her no matter what you feel or what you think. I don't, I don't care what you think, Mama. I will save her. Your mother, for God's sake. You are not taking her abroad. Ma Mama, I will take No, 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 you cannot waste money like that. Oh, this is my money. Let her treat her here. Yeah. Because she travel abroad. So you want the leg to be happy? But how can you talk like this? Yes. Father, for God's sake. There is no money to travel abroad. Mama, it's my money. I'm having to talk about it. Listen, as long as I breathe, as long as I am alive, 
I'll never love them because those precious legs of mine, okay? Look, even if it will take my last couple, I'll make sure I use it to keep those legs standing. Don't worry, it's going to be all right. Huh? I love you. For the good of the family. I want you to think about it. And uh, Mama, please leave my room now. Why don't you want us to think about Mama, it? Mama, please leave my room now. You heard me, leave my room now, please. Ha. Mama, leave. Okay. 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 Mama, leave now, please.
Uh, according to Dr. Maria, yes. nothing is clinically wrong with both of us. She said that in such cases, she normally advises the couple to wait on God. Well, um, you've only mm. said so yourself. I I'm, I'm sorry for being so impatient, but I guess it's natural. It's all right. I understand how it is. But we should learn to accept the things we cannot change. And wait for God's time, okay? I thank God for your understanding and for giving me such a lovely husband. <laughs> I also thank God for giving me such a loving and charming woman. Hey. Um, do you oh. like the food? It's delicious. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Giving you and Nduka my all without holding back anything. Now that it is time for you to do me this single favor, just this once, you are finding it hard to reason. is your only brother. Remember all he has done for you. Right from when you were very little. He has always been ready to help in all the ways. Your boy exam. Remember how he risked his life just for you to pass. He sat for that exam for you. Also, remember how he sacrificed his dead school fees just for you to go up while he waits for me until I was able to get his own house confused. Now, now it is time for you to do me this single favor. Wipe away tears and shame from our eyes before our enemies. No. Please, do me this single favor. And I will remain eternally grateful to you. Wait for me, just this once. Piku. Piku. Piku, no, Piku. Just wait for me, Patrick, please. Help me with this situation. Go. Is my son seriously with me? My enemies will laugh at me. My enemies will laugh at me. never forbid anything. Listen to me. The pride of womanhood is marriage. And the joy of marriage is motherhood. No, 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 mama, mama, mama. I mean, do you realize what you're asking me to do? Yes. That I should sleep with Patrick, my husband's younger brother. What's wrong with Patrick? Patrick has the same blood with Ndoka. If perchance you have a child and the child does not look like you, he will look like him. 
He is, that's no, why I said he is the best option. No, please, I cannot do it. I put it to you then that you do not love your husband. I love my husband. Mm. I love you so much, I know it. If you love him, then prove it. Love is reciprocal. My son almost went bankrupt because he made sure, he spent his last penny to make sure that you are able to walk on your crutches. If not for him, they would have cut off your two legs and you know it. So show him love. To prove my love for my husband doesn't mean I have to sleep with someone else. This is only to help you. Both of you, you need children. Since there's this problem, why don't you do it? Mama, I can't. Do you have to do it? you resolved with her? That woman just won't let me be. She won't let me be. Do you know what she's suggesting? <clears throat> she wants me to try another man, just like you said. Oh, you see? No, no, no wait, you don't get it though. The person she's suggesting is Patrick, my husband's younger brother. And so? And so? Is that all you have to say, Anso? I, I, no, no, no. I can't bring myself to do it. I can't. Mm. Then sit down there, okay? Nikki, let me tell you. You know Ujenna, my friend? Ujenna. Ujenna. Yes. Oh, that skinny woman, yeah? Yes, um, Ujenna got two of her kids from two different men. What? Yes. Or is it Ifatu? Uh, <laughs> Ifatu had six. Six kids? From her husband's cousin. Oh, don't say that again. Uh -uh. <sighs> My dear. Ify, those your two kids. Are you sure they are from your husband? Ah, uh -uh. no, 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 no. Uh -uh. My husband is sound. It doesn't matter who puts in the children. The most important thing is that they are present in the marriage period. I know, it's a difficult task, but you have to do it to save your marriage. You really have to. A friend of mine is in a dilemma and uh, he needs my advice badly. What's dilemma? His brother, his blood brother is married, but he's important. Who is important? Your friend or his married brother? I said his married brother. Now, there's pressure on him to sleep with the brother's wife and get her pregnant in order to save the marriage. but. He considers it abominable, and so he said no. If he said no, what other advice does he need? I don't know. Uh, maybe he wants to change his mind, but he just said I should advise him. Mm, did he tell you who is mounting the pressure on him? Maybe his brother, the wife, both or other members of his family? Uh, I think he said... Uh, no, he, he, he did not. He did not tell me. Well, if you may ask me, I will say he should do it at once. As if I am the guy, I'll gladly jump at that offer. You can imagine such an offer. 
You know your problem. You're never serious. How am I not serious? Is it not going to enjoy it? Especially when the girl is young and beautiful. Like your senior brother's wife. I made a mistake. You're heavy! <laughs> Okay, okay. Don't try it again. I want to. I love the thing. I love the thing. I will sit and do it. Yes, I'll do it. I'll do it from you once. Danger. Okay, danger. Come on. Aha. Okay. You go. No, no, no. You go first. I'm the champion. You, you go, go, go first. No, no. I want you the last time. You go. My first. angle is tight. There it goes. <laughs> Just wait. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Go on, go on. <laughs> two, two. Let me. Uh, one, two, three. Hey! I got the bullseye. But that's not. No, I got the bullseye. 15 plus 2, 17. Okay. And um, if you count my. Okay, that's. that's... No, 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 mama, no, no, no. mama! Two of you surprise me always. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Every day. Well, how, Mama? We are just having fun. How can you be having fun? Laughing. Go, 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 go. Feeling contented, as if everything is all right in this house. Mama, life is what you make of it. We have chosen happiness. How can you choose happiness without children? Eh? That is not how God ordained for families to be. Mama, let me remind you. When God created Adam, he gave him a wife, Eve, to help him and to make him happy. And that's exactly what my wife Neka is doing for me. Good! Eve gave Adam sons. Not one, but two. Cain and Abel. Ndoka, a family without children is like river without water. Mama, this river without water is sweet and enjoyable. Mama, please, I beg you in the name of God, leave us alone. Let us enjoy in peace as God has destined for us. Mm -mm. Ndoka, there can never be peace without children. Eh? What is there to make you happy? Nothing! Nothing! Ne. If you want to be happy, all you need is to give me grandchildren. Happiness is not in the throwing of this thing or drinking wine. That is not where happiness is. Oh, I need grandchildren. Mama, you are pushing your luck. Mama, you are pushing your luck. That's exactly what I'm doing. I will keep pushing until you give me grandchildren. Oh, look at Grandchildren, I'm not asking you for a house. I don't want you to give me a car. All I'm asking from you are children. Ndoka, give me grandchildren. That should be okay for me. Huh? Give me grandchildren. Now, give me grandchildren. <laughs> This world is turning to. What happened? Do you know that two days ago, a friend of mine was telling me how the mother has been pressurizing him to impregnate the brother's wife, simply because the man is important. You are not serious. I'm very serious. So, what did the guy do? Did the guy agree? Well, I don't know what he wants to do yet. See, Patrick, this is the height of abomination. I said it. I said it! Even if my mother put a dagger on my throat, read my lips, I will never do it. <gasps> How can one do a thing like that? For what now? Oh, this is what turning into. You, you, you've, you've not heard anything. I beg you, uh, take your drink. Thank 
Ada lagi. Nah, okay. Too much for you. You gotta wait for a second help. No, but I'll do anything now. Okay, I promise. No, I I promise, I promise. I promise. No, I won't do that. Mama, please, give us a break, please. I am not going to give you any break. Did I give your father any break? Go and have your own children. Your mates in the village, they all have children. Three, four. You are here. Not even one, not even half. Shameless thing. You could go ahead and sleep in each other's hand for all I care. All I need, I want grandchildren. Finish! Give me my grandchildren. That's all I demand from you. Children! My own grandchildren. on the Lord. God's time is the best. Don't worry, it's going to be all right, okay? What's the pregnant woman should be eating? Banana, oranges, apple. That's what they should be eating. You with empty stomach, you're eating them. Okay. Just calm down. The flight leaves in the next 25 minutes. I hope I'll make it. Of course, why not? I'm sure there won't be any traffic. It's all right. Um, Patrick! Patrick! Oh, that's brother. Uh, Patrick, you've not taken your bath. Any work, no work today? Oh, uh, uh, brother, I'm feeling feverish. I have to visit the clinic. All right. I'm on my way. Patrick, yes, ensure that all is well, both at the office and at home, okay? It's all right, brother. Mama. I'll see you on Sunday. It's all right, my son. Save Johnny. Eh? Remain blessed. Thank you, Mama. Remain blessed. Thank you, Mama. Bye bye, everybody. Save Johnny. Save Johnny. Mama, I'm not doing anything. Hey, Leave me alone. Hey, don't you know that this is our chance now that Ndoka has gone out? Mama, I am not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything, Mama. I'm not. Mama. Oh, oh, Mama. Mama, 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 please. Oh, oh, Mama, for God's sake, let me be. I don't understand. Come and go to Patrick's room. Eh? Let us see if we can get the result we want. Nika, come now. The result. Come now. Shh. Just come and do it. 
Nanda tunduka is not there. Come. 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 Come
Ogechi. For God's time is really the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want it to be a boy. Uh, look, whatever God gives us, we shall gladly take. Boy, girl, whatever. A child is a child. <laughs> hold, hold, hold it. What is it? Hold it. Don't, don't move. Uh huh. Hey. The baby just spoke to me, called me daddy. Oh, <laughs> it's alright, it's alright. It's alright. Right. 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 Don't worry. Uh, don't... <clears throat> I did some job there, eh? <laughs> No, this is really wonderful. I'm so glad, I'm so happy. <sighs> I'm very happy too. Praise be to Jesus, eh? <laughs> oh, this is good, this is good. Please help me with drinking water. I'm not supposed to drink cold water. How am I supposed to know? Just give me warm water. Mm. Patrick, please help me with my blood tonic. What rubbish is this? Party kiss, party dad, party help me with that, party pass me that. Come, come, I hope you're not assuming I'm now your husband. Of course you're not and can never be. Good. Because the fact that I did this should not be misinterpreted that, you know, I've swapped positions within Duka. Right? Will you shut your mouth up? I said, shut up your mouth. Your stupid mouth and sit down. Now listen to me. The earlier you get into, into your foolish head that this child she's carrying is your biological child, the better for you. What is the matter with you? Mama, I have made my point. I am not her husband, period. Is she begging you to be her husband? Let, wait, wait, let me come and school feed you. Can you even be her husband? Mama, it's just water and it tonic. Okay, my dear. What is it you said you want? I want my blood tonic. Your blood tonic, the one on the shelf there. Yeah. On the right side of the table. So badly, so far are you willing to go? Would you do anything? No matter how costly, would you make the great sacrifice? Even when you know you could pay the costly price. Oh, even when you know you could pay the costly price. is now a mother. <laughs> well, I thank God. My sister, it wasn't easy. Oh, yeah, yeah. What wasn't easy? Is it the pushing of the baby or... Oh, what is that? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But this baby can't eat there. Really? Are you doing exclusive? Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to feed him for maybe a year or so. Uh-uh. That's too much. Yeah, it's not too much. I think it's advisable to feed them up to two years even. It's six months. That's for you now. This one, this baby that I'm seeing here, it's six years. How long do let see? But I'm
my dear. How are you? Uh, I did not buy a biscuit for you, but you know what will happen? We will go to the madam's place, then I'll buy a biscuit for you. Is that okay? Good. Chumba, do you want to eat biscuit this afternoon? Yeah, he wants biscuit. How are you? Hi, Daddy. How was the day today? My dear. I'm fine, thank you. Her length you now have a son. Yes, so thank you. This is him for my son. Say good afternoon to us. How are you, my dear? He looks so much like your husband's brother. Eh? What did you say? Yes, your husband's brother. What's that his name? Um, Patrick. Mm -hmm. Patrick. Yeah. Look at you, you're really looking for me. Yeah, I know. Look guys really trying. Yes. I will see you in the Just take care of yourself. Alright, bye. Could it be that Ify told Noni about my ordeal? How could she say that Chukuma looks like Patrick? So soon. Soon? It's 7, 7 p.m. Oh, God, I haven't been here for long. He's asleep. Yeah. Let me take him upstairs. And you just walked out on me like that. Mama, what is it? What is it now? I can say you are just okay with one child. Am I not talking to you? Mama, leave me alone now. Leave me alone. What do you want me to do? It's three years now. And I believe Chukuma will want Chukwode or Chinelo to play with. And why is that my fault? What are you and Patrick waiting for? Well, wait. I hope you're not suggesting. That's exactly what I'm suggesting. What? Yes. We have to go back to him. We don't have a choice. Well, you know what? You're so impossible. With God, all things happen. No, I don't mean God. I mean you are impossible. How can I be possible? I'm only trying to help you. You're not even considering Induka's feelings. I'm his wife. That is why I'm thinking the way I'm thinking. Because I am considering Induka. Both of you, you need children. I'm trying to help you. Oh, fire this, you A man with a child is like a man with one eye. Eh? We need one more. Oh? Neka. Hmm? What is wrong? I have been waiting to see symptoms. Eh? Mama, there's nothing yet. Why now? Mama, if men were God, they would sell life. 
Am I going to force Patrick? Patrick? Yes. What is wrong with that Patrick self? What is wrong with him? What does he think he is? He is not God. There are many ways to kill a bird. What I'm saying is that one is good, but two is better. Eh? Our people say that a one-eyed man is indebted to blindness. Mama, I cannot. My, my conscience, my conscience is disturbing me. You don't, you don't understand. You don't, don't listen to that conscience. Forget it. Jesus Christ. Eh? At least you can see that Tukuma is always falling ill. God forbid though. But anything can happen. Pico, please, my son. Oh, Pico, please. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Do it for me. Thank you very much. Eh? Let me go and call her. Eh? Hey. This is a joke. Stop it. I am no longer interested. Period. Patrick, why are you talking like this? Eh? I am not enjoying this myself. But Mama is on my neck for a second child. Then you should be on her head. For God's sake, she should count me out of her schemes. Oh, what's the meaning of all this? Don't you people have conscience? Jesus Christ. Neka. Neka. So to get Patrick to do it again is now a problem. Eh? Are you not ashamed of yourself? A common task of bringing a man on top of you to get you pregnant is now hard for you. Are you not a woman? Eh? Why don't you use those small, small tricks that women use to bring men on their bed? So that's so, 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 like, Mama, Mama, what you don't understand or what you haven't realized is that I'm somebody's wife. Ha! It's a shameful thing for a woman to stoop herself so low to beg a man to sleep with her. Not to talk of a married woman. Eh, eh. Okwian. Okwian. If you cannot get Patrick to do it again, a child is a child. Get another man. What? Do exactly what you heard me say. Get another man. A man is a man. It doesn't matter. The important thing is to get somebody to put something into you. Something that will bring out a child from you. God, no, Mama, I, ca I, ca I can't believe this. The fact that I slept with my husband's younger brother is enough. Another man is unthinkable, Mama. Please. Nega. Nega. Uh, Patrick, please, I'd like you to drop me at the supermarket on the way to work, okay? I'm sorry, I can't wait. I'm already late for an appointment. No, I won't take long. Let me just go upstairs and get the money. I, I said I can't know. wait, or is hearing one of your many problems? What's your problem? I know you have many problems, but I don't know hearing to be one of them. You're very stupid. Me, very stupid. Yes, you are stupid. Who do you think you are? Look at this food that cannot fend for himself or sit here and consume my food and do nothing. I consume your food and do nothing. Yes. Yet I gave you a son. I cannot fend for myself. Yet you crawl in bed begging. You know what? You are a fool.
recommend me to you. I beg, help me to this thing. I know what you do, I'm a minute. I beg. Don't no worry, make her meet my friend. Whether I will feel happy. I won't make my son resemble you. Just they tell me something about I know to understand Sha, but until you get business, something like a woman or anything with you. This girl, now my picking wife. The girl don't get problem, but my picking get problem. Now they find somebody who will go fit help me gamble. Give this girl belly. Uh, I feed one. Thank you. Thank I thank go feed. Thank you, my son. But you know thing will happen. Uh, you go drop something very big. Oh. You go enjoy the babe feeling I'll come pay you money on top. What in the enjoyment? Maybe what way the employment for? You they talk of enjoyment again. Enjoyment. What in? How you going to tell me say I go look, I don't do this kind of job before. Now because of say we get experience for this kind of job. Now I make them recommend you, say make you come see us for this place. So what do you they talk? Oh yeah, I want to make this. Okay, fine, I will help you. Just bring this to the I know they work. Bring two hundred and fifty. I beg, I beg, I beg, we're reasonable now. Okay, you know what you have on here? We can see whether I go feel back with whether you cash me 50,000, I beg, I give you. Wait me 50 for this job, I beg, take care of this thing. Ah-ah. Don't leave me like this now. You wait, you say you go do a problem. Wait, I beg, I add 10,000, make it 60. You know they even talk anything. How you go tell me say you want top 10,000 for this kind of business? This is a big job, oh. No, 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 Maybe for this thing, uh, you won't make her sleep with them. Make she get the game. Uh, then they, it's not okay now. Nah. Okay, make her make, make a round number, make her give you 100,000. You know they talk in something with neighbor. You say we know they're strong for this game, therefore no tell you to come this place. Now our job. Help me now. Nah. I hope you this. won't help me. You're not being a person. Uh-uh. I beg now. Take 100. Now beg, I go beg the 100. I don't get them. You see, eh, even though I will do this job, not be because of you, but not because of how this girl take fine. Now I make her go do them. Yeah, so make you pay 150,000 naira. Hey, I just say you don't give for 100,000. Where I go get Somebody has agreed to do the job. He wants money. What money? For the hard work of making you pregnant. He's asking for 150,000 naira. What? Why? Because he's going to keep doing it until you get pregnant. Mama, please, I'm not doing anything. Well, I know my ovulation period, so he doesn't have to do it several times. Anyway, that's the amount. Well, I can't afford it. He can forget it. No. You have to go and look for the money. What do you mean, forget it? I know how long and how hard it took me to get this one.
going down. Don't do it. Let's go. For you now, you are complaining. Did they manufacture men in your place? Eh? Will you go back there and produce results? Mama, Mama, you need to see his face. Hey, Mama, I said, Go back and produce results. Hey, go back there. What are you doing with his face? Tell me to look at his face. Go and do it. Go on now. Go. Look at this thing. I said, Go. Everything has been arranged. Just go. Don't look at his face. Go. All I need is results. What are you doing with his face? Don't look at his face, eh? Just produce good results. It is ugly. I called you and you told me you were at Ibadan. Yes, I was about going to Ibadan, but I changed my mind. I came to collect something from Ife. Yeah. Ife, that thing I told what you. What is it? Hey, hey, wait, wait, listen, listen. You cannot continue to do this. You collected money from me over five months ago and you've refused to pay it. When I call you, either drop the phone on me or give me some flimsy excuses. Hey, Eneka, please don't insult me because of a rubbish 20,000 naira. Please, excuse me. Ah, you call my money rubbish? Look at this ingrate. This hungry dog that goes about wagging her tongue, looking for food to feed her stomach? And you there call my money rubbish? Look at this calling someone a dog. Who doesn't know your story? Woman, you're going from one man to another, getting pregnant and giving back to bastard kids. And you're calling me a dog? <laughs> hey. did, you, did you just hear her? Why did you say that? Is that not fact? No. Shame on you. You are a disgrace to you. In fact, if you, I'll see you later. I'll you later. I'll get your money whenever I want. I didn't tell her. That one. 
I'll buy it for you at a big one. Junior. Junior. Now go to your room. Come on. Go to your room. Mama. Yeah. I cannot stay in this house and watch my own son call me uncle. Shh. What is wrong with you, Patrick? You know what? I'll leave this house, rent my own apartment. In fact, I'll tell Brother Anduka this night when he returns. Can't you use your head? Eh? Don't you know that that will be creating room for suspicion? Suspicion indeed. What has come over you, Patrick? Be careful. Don't play with fire. I'll be here. This is my own blood. Be calling me uncle. I say shut up. Hey! Mama, I can't shut up. Try and pretend a little. I can't pretend. I'm a human being. Anyway, where will you even see my to rent it? An apartment. I can see another man has done it in the this time. My dog, you shut up. You're not talking rubbish. This is impossible. <laughs> my son cannot have the sickle cell anemia. Why? Because my genotype is AA and my wife's AS. Oh, well, there could be mixed up somewhere, but certainly not for me. As for your son's genotype, he's SS. There's no mistake about that. Um, doctor, is it then possible for couples that are AA and AS to give birth to SS children? That will be a medical wonder. Of course it's not possible. So, the variations and options are like this. Couples of both AA equals children of AA. Never AS or SS. Couples of AA and AS can give birth to children of either AA or AS, but not SS. So, what are you talking about, doctor? How can my wife and I give birth to an SS child, a sickler? Oh, well, I think uh, we should recheck you and your wife to be certain about your combination. As for your boy, it's SS. Like I said before, there's a mystic about it. Honey, can we imagine that, doctor? Seeing that our son, Chukuma, is a sickle. God forbid. How on earth is that possible? Don't, don't, don't mind all these quack doctors. And he was even trying to convince me, as if I wasn't sure of our genotype again. Hey, you know them, they always come up with one excuse or the other. Instead of him to say he cannot diagnose what is wrong with Chukuma, he just made up the sickle cell thing. I I'm sure it is his son that has sickle cell. How is that possible? God, what kind of country is this? Uh? What kind of country is this? So the standard of education has fallen so low that a doctor, a medical doctor at that, cannot even carry out simple diagnosis. Too bad for us, too bad. Well, it's, I mean, it's really outrageous. I mean, sickle cell. <laughs> Tell me. From where now? I'm AA, your AS. <laughs> Come on. I think he should go back to med school. <laughs> My grandson is a sickle. What kind of doctors do we have today? 
If that stupid man does not know his work, let him say so. Rather than scatter an innocent child's health condition. That was why I did not accept going for a test. Though. All those stupid people in white robes, in the name of doctors, they can deceive a lot. Mama, calm down. Calm down. That doesn't mean that you should shout. Why won't I shout? Eh? Why won't I shout? When a man who calls himself a doctor is trying to confuse you, why won't I shout? Let him wait until I see him personally. Finish man. I don't understand what, how long it took us after marriage to have a child has to do with it. I do not expect you to. But what I want you to know is that I am prepared to put both my medical certificate and my license on the line just to prove this point. Please tell me how long. Well, doctor, if that will prove anything, which I doubt anyway, I'll tell you. It took us about four years after marriage. Four years. Was it by desire? Uh, that is, uh, was that how you wanted it? It couldn't have been, Doctor. I know how you feel, Mr. Obedike. You see, medicine is science and deals with empirical facts. Like I said before, I'm prepared to put both my license, medical certificate on the line to prove this point. I will see you later in four days time. Thank you. Why did I do it? Why did I even think about it? Why? My daughter, what we did was the best under the circumstances. You don't need to regret it. I regret every bit of it. Every single bit of it, I regret it. Mama, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. You don't need to be afraid. There is nothing to fear. The doctor. That doctor is going to expose everything. Whatever any stupid doctor is saying should not disturb you. Nobody can ever, ever find out. Besides, I am always here with you. I am solidly behind you. looking at me. And how am I looking at you? You're making me uncomfortable. How is my son? I see back from school. What did you just say? My son. Listen, if that's a joke, just stop it. Ah, come on, Mega. How can that be a joke? It's true, come on, not my son. No, if it's your son, come and claim him. Come and claim him then. Nonsense. You know why I was looking at you? Listen, Mecca, I looked at you because I, I keep wondering how you cope. I mean, how you manage to be so relaxed and comfortable with my brother. Knowing too well that the boy you foisted on, on him is not his son. Even that pregnancy. Well, like they say, silence is the answer for a fool like you. Yes. 
idiot. I will do more. I don't blame you. You did this to I, me. I, I, I don't want it. Jesus. Darling, what's the matter? God. Oh my God. Patrick, what happened to you? Your wife hit me with her crutches. Hit you? Why? Just like that. I, I, I was just trying to tell her uh, about some of the things she does that I don't like. On the next day. Okay. Tell me, what are those little things that she does that you don't like? You know, just like... Patrick, you are stupid! You are very, very stupid and foolish! Oh, what have I done, man? Look at you! Your mates are out there, looking for money, trying to help themselves and their families. All you do is sit down here, eat food, and pick us with a woman at home. There are certain things in that that I don't like. Look at you. Are you her husband? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Eh? I have told you to give him some money to open up a small business. He said, I am sending him a blood. Stupid! Stupid! Shut up! Patrick! 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 Let him go! You leave me alone. Go! Let him go! Mama, it's all right. Patrick is hurt. Let him be hurt for all I care. What is my business? Mama, it's all right. It can never be all right. Nduka, it can never, never be all right. What do you mean it, it will be all right? Nonsense. Stupid! 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 is here now. Go ahead. Go ahead with what? He says he has something to say which he wants all of us to hear. Brandoka, I have a confession to make. What confession? Will you shut us to give up? Mama, please allow him. Patrick, what's the confession? Brandoka, I me down. It's, it's been breaking my conscience. Shut up your mouth. Oh, Mama, for God's sake, let me unbutton my conscience. For God's sake. What conscience? Eh? I have told you to stop stopping yourself. Eh? It's because of that thing that happened long ago. Stop disturbing yourself. You have done confession to a, a reverend father. You have even done penance. Confession to God is better than confession to any other one. You have confessed to God. Oh Don't God. bother yourself. And what is that? Uh, yeah. that, that money you, you were looking for last year. You mean the 60,000 that I said I kept in my wardrobe then? That I couldn't find? Yes. Yeah. That money. He said he's the one that took it. That's what he wants to confess. But I later found it. It was in my briefcase. Honey, didn't you tell them? Brother Nduka, that is not what I want to talk about. My confession is about your wife. I'm sorry. Uh, forgive me, please. My conscience has been pricking me. It's been weighing me down. I, I, I'm, I'm henceforth. I promise. I'll be in the best of terms with her. Neka, please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Please forgive me. Patrick. Patrick. I am so happy that of your own free will and volition you have changed your mind. Honey, you've heard him. He has confessed. Please forgive me. <laughs> well, like they say, it's only human to err. Forgiveness is divine. So, henceforth, no more petty squabbles and quarrels. No more. Uh, Patrick, 
once again, thank you. Thanks for your maturity. It takes a man to own up to his misdeeds and confess them. That is true. Patrick, you are a real man. Eh? Um, <laughs> now that our family is one big united one again, um, Patrick, come, let's go take a drink or two. It's allowed. Eh? Uh, uh, Patrick, be careful. Don't drink too much. Try and be sober. Mama, you know I don't drink. Definitely, Patrick will not drink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. I need a heart attack. Come on, wait. My baby nearly kicked. My, my heart had gone off. It's okay, my dear. I told you that. <laughs> oh, but it's not you. It's not for me. It will not kill me. But I would like to confer with your husband alone first, if you don't mind. Doctor, my husband and I don't keep secrets from each other. No, we don't. I understand. But please, do excuse us. Your husband will have to tell you later what I discussed with him. If he's going to tell me later, we can as well hear what you have to say. Honey, excuse us. You want me to excuse you? I'll tell you what we discussed later, okay? Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Why? I think you should brace yourself for this news. Like I said on the phone, it is shocking. Go on, doctor. I asked your wife to excuse us because I think there is something going on or has gone on. The test reveal that you are sterile and cannot reproduce. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dr. Lawal. And doctor. You have once again confirmed how wrong you could be. It may interest you to know that within the four years before I got my son, my wife and my mother pressurized me to undergo a sterility test. I did. It was negative. I still have the results. So, Doctor, if that's the end of the shocking news, may I leave now? Oh, thank you. Oh, please sit down, Mr. Okay. Well, there is no problem. I'm certain of your son's stereotype results and your sterility test. You can take it anywhere. Good day, all the same, Dr. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. The day that quack doctor told him whatever, he started behaving strangely. He doesn't even eat, he doesn't talk to me. Whether he goes out and comes back late in the night. I talked with him this morning and he said we will discuss whatever it is tonight when he comes back from work. So you don't need to worry yourself. Everything will be all right. Are you sure, Mama? I'm afraid, though. Afraid of what? 
Don't worry. Everything will be all right. That's what I said. Okay. Would you do anything, no matter how costly? Would you do anything? Who are you? Mr. Doctor, I am the woman whose home you want to destroy with your fake result. Listen to me. If you know what you told my son on Doka, better call him back and retrieve it. Because as you can see, I am still sound and healthy. And I will not sit down and watch you destroy a home I have suffered to do since my husband died. Where were you? Where were you when I was suffering to bring those children up? Now you think in the twinkle of an eye you can just destroy it overnight. It is not possible. Go and tell them that I said it is not possible. It is not possible. Fake doctor. Pirated doctor. Woo! Fake! You will not destroy my home. I'll be back. Just don't do it. You'll see me back here. What's the name of this? This result is incontrovertible. The cold fact is that you are still. You mean I am sterile? I am sorry if I am blunt, but I don't like painting or decorating situations. I give it out as it is. Doctor, from your analysis, does it seem that this stability is something that could have happened this year, last year? Where? What I'm trying to find out is, is it possible to determine exactly when it could have happened? Well, the exactitude of the duration is not precise. But my analysis of the hormonal dysfunction points to the direction that it has happened over 20 years now. <laughs> Doctor, you mean 20 years ago I couldn't have impregnated a woman? No. Most certainly not. understand what you're saying. Engli, I'm pregnant for you and the doctor says it is risky for me to abort it. You must be out of your senses. I am not the father of that bastard you're carrying. Excuse me. Andy! Unduka! Unduka, you're walking out on me, Unduka!
What would you do when you want something so badly? How far are you willing to go? Would you do anything, no matter how costly? Would you make the great sacrifice, even when you know you could pay the costly price? Even when you know you could pay the costly price. There comes a time in life when we find ourselves in a dicey situation. And we are forced to make a decision. And we do what might cause great confusion. Especially uh, my when we think for somebody. Uh, please, uh, I'm asking after for love. Pascal. Is oh, it's really my uncle. Love? This side. Please, I'd like to see you. Oh, is it really love? In our desperate quest, we might do it and end up doing it in our selfish interest. Oh no. Papilo Ndua. Papilo. Ndu International. <laughs> Man, how do you trace me? Papilo, you cannot yeah. hide. Not in this town, you cannot hide. <laughs> you are welcome. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Thank you. My brother. Ndu, if I may ask, to who do I owe this visit? Um, Papi. Ndua. What about your cousin, um, Ego? Ego mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's why you are here now, Abi. Papi, I, I need to see her. I hope no problem. Uh, no, no, Papi, nothing at all. I just need to see her. I need to find out something from her. Uh, okay, you know, you didn't treat her well. Papi, leave all this one. Papi, I don't understand. Well, no problem. Yeah. Don't drink. I will give you her dress. Uh, thank you very yeah, much. But I must warn. Ego looks charming. Sweeter than before. <laughs> Careful. Papi, leave all that one. Leave all that one. Yeah. Let Let me me you do when you want something so badly? How far are you willing to go? Would you do anything? No matter how costly. Would you make the great sacrifice? Look at when you know it's a lie. I don't know, Sai. What in God's name are you doing here? And how did you find me anyway? Well, um, I found you through your cousin Pascal. He gave me your address. Okay. Please make yourself comfortable. I must say you've done very well for yourself. Oh, thank you. Um, listen, Edo. I'll go straight to the point. I have come here for a reason. Oh, sorry, what would you like to take? Brandy? Soft drink? Um, beer, anyone? Uh, it will not now, maybe later. Please sit down. <laughs> Ego, like, like I said earlier, I have come here for a reason. Something terrible has happened to me. You see, I got married seven years ago, and my wife and I stayed for four years before God blessed us with our son. Before then, we had undergone a sterility test and um, we're both confirmed okay. Well, not until recently, when our son started falling in and out of some strange crisis. We took him to the hospital and the doctor ran some tests on him and it was confirmed to be carrying the sickle cell anemia. I, I, I was shocked. I was stunned. More so because my wife's genotype is AS and mine is AA. Well, over time, I went for another sterility test. Where the doctor now confirmed that I am sterile. Ego, now the purpose of my visit, okay? Please, I remembered that you once said you were carrying my child. Tell, was that child really mine? Oh, God. Um, 
I'm very sorry. I never knew it could come to this. I never knew. The pregnancy I carried was not yours. I'm so sorry. I, I lied to you. I thought I could use that to get you to marry me. Okay, please, leave me. I never knew I don't understand why you brought me to this lonely area. A little over three years ago, you carried out a sterility test on me. What is the true result of that test? How do you mean true result? You heard me right. What is the true result of that test? Is that why you brought me to this dangerous looking place? I'm doing the questioning, Dr. Maria. You supply the answers. Now, for the last time, what is the true result of that test? I remember I did inform you of that result. I am not talking about the result. I am talking about the true result. Perhaps I don't understand what you mean. Perhaps I might make you understand better. This might make you understand better. Please. Now, Dr. Maria. What is the meaning of this, Mr. BDK? What is the true result? I said I should not let you know the truth. Your mother and your wife. You are sterile. That is the true result. They said you should not let me know. And you agreed? A medical doctor that knows the ethics of a profession agreeing to a cover up of the true result of a medical test? <sighs> For what fee? For how much, Dr. Maria? How much? I'm sorry. I'm truly Shut sorry. Shut up! Yes, sir. You're sorry? Yes. Sorry for wrecking me emotionally? Sorry for killing me psychologically? Sorry for putting my soul through so much pain and anguish. <laughs> Dr. Maria, why? Why? Why, Dr. Maria? Me, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs>
or you are prepared to kill you. What? But not if you tell me the truth. I will tell you everything, everything. Who is the father of fat boy Chukuma? What? You are the father now? This is a master chance. Who is the father? <laughs> My younger brother? Please forgive me. It was all Mama's idea. Mama's idea? That you should cheat on me? Mama's idea to betray me? And sleep with my younger brother and you agreed? She desperately wanted you to have children. She wanted you to have children through me. Please, my love, ask <laughs> Don't you ever mention that word again. You know nothing about it. You never ever loved me. No. You never ever loved me. I gave you my all. My heart. My soul. My body. I sacrificed my blood for you when you had that accident. I, I sacrificed my money. <laughs> Sold my property to make sure you're like this. And you pay me back with betrayal? <laughs> with infidelity? <laughs> with cheat? I need it to see. To save our marriage with bastard children? Oh, please. If you so desperately needed children, why didn't you tell me? Why couldn't we discuss it? We could have adopted children. I'm sorry, Mama, but this is beyond forgiveness. You've turned my life upside down. Brother Luca, please. Let me bear the punishment alone. 
Let me pay the ultimate price. Kill only me, please. Let I alone die. I was foolish to have agreed to Mama's twisted and evil plans. Please. Kill only me, please. please. Shut up. Shut up. Is Patrick the father of this one? I said, he's the owner of No, no, he's not. He's a... I don't know him anymore. I don't know him. He's Mama. That's my wife, Mama. Mama. Mama, Mama, Mama. Everywhere, Mama. Everybody, Mama. What kind of a mother are you? You lived your own married life with my father. I'm sure you drove him to an early grave. But you wouldn't allow another woman to enjoy her own married life. You kept pushing her, nudging her. You cajoled her into the... Hey. Brother, please, please, please. My own blood brother. You, Mama, oh, you. you. And give me a bastard child and satisfy your own selfish anachronistic ambition in order to gratify your convoluted and impious desires. You don't deserve to leave, Mama. <laughs> no, you don't. Please. Luca, please. Remember, I am your mother. I, I brought you to this world, please. You too. Who will remember? But I took you out of this world. This is my judgment. The accused person's story is touching and pathetic, but nothing can justify him for taking human lives. The human life is sacrosanct. In this case, therefore, I find the accused guilty as charged. He is to die by hanging. I
Would you do anything? No matter how costly, would you make a great sacrifice? Even when you know you could pay the costly price. Even when you know you could pay the costly price. situation and we are forced to make a decision and we do what might cause great confusion especially when we think we're doing it for love is it really love oh is it really love in our desperate quest do it and end up doing it in our selfish interest. Oh no, what would you do when you want so?